Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this procedural wall paint shade in Blender. If you're interested, you can get the file for a dollar via the link in the description. So let's get started. First, let's add an icosphere and set this to around 5, for example. This is only necessary if you want to use displacement, which I'm going to do. For the lighting, I'm using this HDI. I'm going to put a link to that in the description. In the shading tab, go to a rendered view and make sure you use cycles. You can enable transparent if you like. Now let's click on new and zoom in a little. Add a mix shader. I mean a mix RGB, sorry. Connect that to the base color, set the color 1 to something like this, and color 2 to something like this, make it a little brighter. Let's add a bump node, put it here and connect it to the normal, and let's also add a displacement node. Put it here and connect it to displacement. Now here type in displacement and go to material and under displacement select displacement and bump. Set the scale for the displacement to 0 0.01 and now let's add another mix shader, duplicate this one and connect the color to the factor. Add a color ramp, put it here and connect it to color two. Now let's add a noise texture, connect the factor to the factor and set the scale to 100. By the way, if you want this preview here, I have a link to the add-on in the description. I'm going to ignore the scale here and now let's add another mix node, duplicate it again and connect the color to color 1. By the way, let's flip the color ramp and bring the white in like this and the black like this. Now duplicate the color ramp and Connect the color to color 2 and to the factor. Also, let's shake this smooth real quick. And let's add a roll node texture. Set it to 40 and set the scale to 100. Connect the distance to the factor. I'm going to control shift click on this mix texture here so that we can see it better. Duplicate the Warner texture, set it back to 3D and let's duplicate the mix texture again and connect the color to color 1. Now connect the distance to color 1 and duplicate the color ramp. Let's flip it again and make it like this. Connect the color to color 2 and let's set the scale for the Warner texture to 50. Add a noise texture and set the scale to 30. Connect the factor to the factor. Duplicate the color ramp again and put the black around here and the white here. Connect the color to the factor and add a mask wave texture. Set the scale to 30 and connect the height to the factor. Now if we control shift click on the principal PSDF, we get something like this. One last thing that we need to do is, is to connect the color to the height for the bump and for the displacement. 
So that's it with the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.